Hi, I'm Candy Randolph, and today we are going to talk about the topic of fitness as we get into our 60s. I can speak to that as a woman in my mid-60s and uh, someone who has really spent a number of years um, committed to living a healthy lifestyle. And what I'd like to share with you today in this video really concentrates on fitness and what I do to keep my body in a relatively good shape. I'm not an athlete, I'm not particularly athletic, never have been, but even so, um, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's really more a matter of keeping your body strong and fit and your balance in uh, uh, at its best so that as you get older, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, beyond, your body will still perform for you relative to your age. Certainly, um, there is more to living a healthy lifestyle than how we exercise. That's a big piece of it, but the other components are really as essential. And just briefly, that includes nutrition, how you feed and nourish your body. What are you eating or avoiding? Um, are you feeding your body the types of foods that are going to enhance the exercise that you put your body through? I'm by no means perfect in terms of my nutrition, but I do make an effort to eat a balanced diet of healthy foods. I love to snack, I like sugar, and I like carbs. If in my 60s I allowed myself to indulge every time I felt like it, I probably wouldn't fit behind this desk. So there is discipline involved for sure. I don't deprive myself of any of the foods and things that I like, but I am careful uh, to balance proteins, fats, and carbs pretty much every day. It's the way I eat. I've gotten used to it and, and I enjoy it. So, so um, how we feed our body certainly affects our overall fitness. How we feed our mind and our spirit and how we go through our day makes a difference as well. Uh, having routines that keep us moving forward in a positive direction, like a, a morning routine or even an evening routine before we go to bed. Things like that that we make a part of our life are all essential components of fitness and a healthy lifestyle as we get older. So all that said, um, today's video is really going to focus on the fitness aspect. And, and I'm going to share with you as a non-professional, I'm not a fit, obviously not a fitness professional, I'm not educated. Um, so I'm speaking as a person, as a woman in my 60s who has done these things for a period of years after reading and studying and, and writing about them on my blog on Inspire My Style. And I've learned, you know, these are the things that are good for us as, as women, as people in midlife and beyond to do. So it's nothing new, nothing um, you're going to go, oh my God, I never would have thought of that. Um, it's all out there, but it's just a matter of literally making a commitment to it and doing it. So when you watch the rest of the video, you'll find that I'm going to talk about several components. One is... Uh, making sure that I get steps in every day. Sure, you know you're sitting on the sofa, you get up, you walk into the kitchen to get a cup of coffee. Did you get some steps in? Well, yeah, you got a few. But uh, keeping your body healthy and fit and metabolism moving in a healthy way, which we certainly want as we get older, requires that we do more than, you know, walk from the kitchen to the living room back and forth a few times. And I'll be honest with you, it's more than you know, taking that 10 minute walk, you know, after lunch too. That's nice, but it's really not enough, assuming that you are healthy enough to be able to walk, um, it's really not enough. So I'll talk about my goal, uh, my daily step goal. 
and it's easy to say, oh, well, it's too cold outside, or it's it's raining, or, you know, um, I don't want to mess up my hair, it's too humid, and so I'll just stay in. Well, I have news for you, girlfriend, it doesn't matter whether you're inside or outside. I manage to get in seven to 10,000 steps almost every day without leaving my home. Um, there's a lot of places you can walk inside your home, even if it's small. I don't live in a big home, and I manage to do that. So um, getting steps in, keeping your body active is important. Along with that is aerobic exercise, where you get your heart rate up. It, you don't have to jump all around because as we get older, most of our bodies, they don't like that anyway. I mean, who wants to be doing 50 jumping jacks at 65 years old? If you want to, go for it. But if you would rather not, your body isn't able to do that anymore, then don't. But there are plenty of low impact aerobics type exercises that can be done that a relatively healthy person in their 60s and 70s can accomplish. So we talk about that in the in the video that follows. And then we have strength training, you know, and I'm not referring to strength training, you know, <laughs> lifting 200 pounds. Again, if you want to do that, cool. Um, I certainly don't. And you can accomplish so much uh, towards keeping your body strong without using any weights at all. Um, you use your own body weight. Uh, so again, my focus is not on seeing how big my muscles can get. I don't really want that. But keeping them firm and strong so that I can do the daily tasks that I want to do. If I want to lift my grandchild and put them on my lap, that I have the strength to do that. Am I going to pick them up and throw them over my shoulder? No, not at the size they are. But, um, but I do want to be able to have fun and play with them or do what I need to do around my home without feeling like I'm going to hurt myself because I have no st muscle strength. Along with that are two other types of fitness that we'll touch on. One is functional fitness and the other is balance. You may have noticed as you're getting older that your balance isn't quite what it used to be. And if you haven't noticed that, you probably will at some point. The natural changes in our body, in our hearing, um, and how our brain works cause us to have the tendency to not be quite as balanced as we used to be in our younger years. So doing exercises that work on our balance are so very important. And the same goes for functional fitness. Functional fitness is doing exercises that include several different body movements that would mimic things like bending down to pick some, pick up a bag of groceries off the floor or take picking something up off the floor and then putting into it up on a shelf or into a cabinet. Maybe bending down to um, tie your shoe. Um, just different movements, composite movements they're called that are part of our daily life that if we don't remind our body, oh, by the way, I want you to be able to do this going forward, it might forget. The more sedentary we are, the more our body's gonna forget what it used to do. And I don't know about you, but I want mine to remember all of these things so that as I go through my years, Lord willing, I stay healthy. I'm very fortunate to be healthy today that I can still um, go for those walks, uh, climb the stairs, uh, put away my own groceries, lift something up above my head, and, and feel confident that I can do that, bend down and get back up. Um, those, those are all composite movements that are part of fitness. So all that said, uh, the rest of the video is gonna go into a little bit more detail about the specific types of exercises I do. And just remember, I'm no exercise queen. These are all things I've learned through experience, through reading, studying, and doing. So I hope that you find some motivation and inspiration and maybe add some of these types of exercises to your daily, weekly 
exercise and fitness routine. So let's get down to the specifics. I'm far from perfect, my friends, and my body reminds me of that just about every day. Even so, my commitment to living a healthy lifestyle really is at the top or the forefront of my daily activities. Because if I don't take care of myself, no one else is going to do it for me. There are several essentials to a healthy lifestyle. Exercise is one of them. Certainly eating well, eating balanced meals, getting the right nutrients for our bodies that are getting older. Self-care, giving our body, mind, and heart the regular care they need to keep us positive and motivated every day. In this video though, we're gonna concentrate on exercise, a commitment to the different forms of exercise our bodies need as we get older. Walking is great and I love to walk, but that in and of itself is not enough for us to maintain our fitness as we get older. Walking is a part of it, of course. Other types of similar exercise would be biking, whether it's a stationary bike or a bicycle outside. Strength training, keeping our muscles strong. Low impact aerobics, getting our heart rate moving without jumping all around. And then as part of strength training, exercises that include functional fitness and balance so that we can move around as we need to in our daily activities without hurting ourselves. My aim is to get in two types of exercise on both days. I always want to get in my, some steps and get some walking in. Then I might include an aerobic workout one day, strength training another day, um, take a day a week off. But for the most part, I'm doing one to two types of exercises just about every day. Where I live, it's not always possible to walk outside. It's just too cold, rainy, snowy, otherwise yucky. So if the weather isn't cooperative, I create an indoor walking route throughout my home. I don't live in a large home, but I make it work. You know, the, the saying is really true, where there's a will, there's a way. Walking outdoors is always my first choice when it's possible. And I aim to walk about 7,500 steps just about every day, more if I can. It's a daily activity for me and it really is part of my self-care because it helps me to feel like, well, me. A stationary bike is another great way to exercise at home. Or you might enjoy biking outdoors, but either way, it gets your body and your heart rate moving. Floor exercises are one type of strength training um, that we can do, and I aim to get in my um, strength training exercises several times a week. So here's just a couple of examples, crunches and glute bridges. I've been doing them for years, and they really do help me stay strong and relatively fit. It really is amazing what you can accomplish by using just your body weight. It's all part of keeping our bodies strong and limber as we age. Aerobic exercise is the type of exercise that gets your heart rate moving. And you don't have to jump all around in order to accomplish that. There are many online workouts. A number of them are free to use. You just have to search for them on YouTube. I will say it really helps to follow along with an instructor when it comes to aerobic exercise, but it is a very important component of an overall healthy lifestyle and fitness. Fitness after 60 is a commitment. It doesn't happen by chance, nor does it happen automatically. You have to make it happen for yourself, my friend. Work within any limitations that you may have Make sure you follow any doctor's instructions that you are under the care of. And be wise, be smart about what you do. But just remember, you are never too old to stay in shape. 